I got asked this week if I can feel what my patient feels. And I was like, what do you mean by that? I can't feel your pain. She said, she was really curious on what I could feel with my hands. And I wanna share this. Hi, this is Justine Calderwood, owner physical therapist here at the Healing Spot Physical Therapy. So I was doing some work with a patient and oftentimes I'll feel things underneath my hands. It might feel, like I say my hands light up. Not an actual light, of course, but it just feels like there's some awareness there that my my hands are saying, hey, Justine, pay attention to this. There's something here. So it may feel like a knot or a hard spot or a dense area in the tissue. So I'll be, I'll have my hands on a patient, like usually both hands in a particular area. And this, like we'll use something simple, like, like the back. Um, and I might have one hand underneath the back um, and then one hand at the lower abdomen. So I'm kind of doing, I can't show you because I'm holding my phone, but you know, imagine like I'm kind of sandwiching the body very gently as I'm sitting from the side, one hand underneath someone's back and one hand at their lower abdomen. And I'm feeling between my hands and I'm just feeling and I'm kind of waiting and being patient. And I'll feel like maybe a part of like my palm will light up where it just feels like it's hard on my fingertips on either hand and I'll, and I've gotten really good at, um, in the past, like checking in with my patients when I didn't trust my hands and didn't trust this information. At first I was always like, tell me where you're feeling this. And I still do this, but it's not for my benefit anymore. I, I trust my hands. It's really for the benefit of my patient because so many people are really good about stuffing things down and ignoring. And when somebody comes in and tells me they have a high pain tolerance, guaranteed you're not feeling what's going on in your body because that's how you survive day in and day out. So it's about bringing awareness back to the body. And I'll say, where are you feeling this at? And like, I'd say nine times out of 10, they're like, right where I'm feeling it. Oh, I'm feeling, a, I'm feeling an ache there, right at that, you know, kind of where your palm is right now, Justine, like the, the side of your hand. And I'm like, okay, well, what's in there? So when we go in a little deeper and ask, um, we get all kinds of information. It's wisdom of the body. It's so exciting because this is the stuff that you're not getting through your stretches and through strengthening muscles and that. Um, but yeah, I wanted to share that because I trust my hands. Sometimes I'm able to feel things and pe when people are so disconnected from their body because they've had maybe so much trauma in their past, um, or an injury that's been really significant or a series of injuries that's really kind of dampened their ability to listen to their body and feel because that's survival mode. You, you can be in survival mode like, yeah, you're living, breathing, but you're not really feeling what's going on um, until possibly your body has to scream at you and say, okay, I'm going to make your back go out. I'm going to give you sciatica. I'm going to give you a migraine to set you on your butt so that maybe you start paying attention to me. That's kind of the messages from your body. Sometimes it has to absolutely scream at you. It can give you kind of warning signs and warning signs. Sometimes it's like that reoccurring pain that you have, back pain, and then it's like, oh, it went away on its own. Great, you're lucky. Then it comes around again and says, okay, pay attention to me, doing something here. You're, you're abusing me, you're not listening, you're, you're overdoing, you're, um, or it could be like a belief of like, you need to change that, that's not healthy for you. It comes back again and it comes back stronger and with a vengeance and, and now vengeance and now it starts to get even more frequent until the point where for some people and a lot of people, it becomes chronic and constant. And it's like, fine, I'm just gonna bug the heck out of you until you finally get this taken care of. Okay, so anyway, I wanted to share that because no, I can't feel your pain, but I, I feel through my hands um, and sometimes I can't even always describe what I'm feeling. Sometimes it's like I tell people, it's like this subtle kind of energy. I can feel this opening up almost like if I have my hands down low, I can feel an opening like a, like a stream of, it's energy to be honest, but it's a stream of like flow maybe down the leg or up into the rib cage. And I don't, I haven't moved my hands. My hands are still where I've described. And I'll say, where are you feeling this now? Oh, I'm feeling it underneath my left rib cage. What's that all, I, I, what's that all about? I don't know, let's ask your body. I don't have these answers. And that doesn't mean I'm not a great therapist. It just means you have the answers within you. You have the story within you. And if you're willing and you're brave to go there, um, we can help you guide there. 
and, and find out what, what that is. So look, this work isn't for everybody. Um, it really isn't. You, you have to be brave and vulnerable and you don't necessarily have to share your story. You can do a lot of healing without sharing your story with, with me or my, my staff. Um, but it's the willingness to actually feel it. Um, and that can be a little messy. Okay. It, it can be messy to feel pain and, and, um, fear and, and not feeling loved and supported in the past. Okay. Or currently for some people, they realize, oh yeah, my dad treated me like that. And now I realize my husband treats me the same way. And that's uncomfortable to realize that. Okay. Anyway, um, I just wanted to share that. Thanks for listening once again, sharing stories here this month, um, real stories that happened in the treatment room. Um, so thanks for listening. Reach out if you got um, questions about this. If you're curious what's stuck in your body and you want, you've had some reoccurring pain in the past and you're just curious how we can help you, reach out. We're happy to have a, um, a call or um, a talk about that with you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.